Joining me now is Sergeant David Lamb of the South Fulton Police Department and his friend George the Dare Bear. Sergeant Lamb, tell me what is Dare? Dare is Drug Abuse Resistance Education. Tell us uh, what it means to you to come to this type of program and to talk to the kids. Well, especially the Dare program, which I do a great deal with all across the South. We, uh, the program, I think, in addition to the wonderful message that it brings of the kids staying off drugs, and it brings a sense of respect for the police because a police officer comes into the school and is there every day and they become someone who is a friend to the student and a lot of times in a lot of communities the police officers are seen as an adversary and this sort of breaks that ice and allows the police officer to share a message which will hopefully change those kids lives and since you play a police officer on TV then you're being involved gives it that much more credibility, that much more oomph? Well, I, I would hope so. It, a lot of the kids identify with the people they see on television, and so this allows me to speak to them, and sometimes they'll say, uh, well, they'll be interested in what kind of car you drive, how much money do you make, and things like that. And I try to get the point across to them that you can be very successful in whatever you want to do, whether you're a teacher, a reporter, a police officer, or television personality and you can do it without doing drugs thank you so very much for talking to us a, a belated welcome to the city of south fulton thank you. i hope you're watching kids stay off drugs you heard it from officer randy good how would you say that dare has helped you personally by teaching me what drugs do to you and it can mess you up if you had one message to give to all the sixth graders in our area, what would that message be? Drugs are not cool. The Stronger Education Program is like the D.A.R.E. program, like the Governor's Alliance for a Drug-Free Tennessee, by you parents just being here tonight and being role models, by showing your children that you care, and by showing them what they are doing is important. We can win this war against drugs, but each and every one of us has to join together and make a significant effort. And I really, I, I feel like I'm preaching to the choir because you are here because you are concerned. You all are here as graduates because you've gone through the program. You've done your drug abuse resistance education program and you know the battle that you're going to have to fight out there. So I'm just here to tell you thank you. Thank you very much for everything that you're doing. Keep up the good work. And that if you ever wonder if someone cares about you, I can tell you your law enforcement officials, they care about you. Your teachers, they care about you. Your parents, they care about you. And Miss Tennessee, I care about you. Atlanta, Georgia is my home. Uh, Chambly's the town that's right outside Atlanta. That's where I grew up and uh, had a lot of fun down there in the music business and also getting a chance to be in the acting business right out of Atlanta. So tell us how you got involved within the heat of the night. Well, about uh, 1988, uh, they moved the show from Louisiana to Georgia to do, go into production. And thankfully, some casting people were very kind to me and allowed me to come out and show them my stuff, and they kept me around. And uh, I got the opportunity to start playing as Officer Randy, and soon I got a last name as Officer Randy Good, and I've hung in there since 1988. I get to do scenes with Mr. O'Connor and Bubba and Parker and so many of the folks that work on the show regularly. It's been a lot of fun. Now, a lot of people remember Mr. O'Connor from All in the Family. How is he to work with? Oh, he's a joy. He, we call him Pops. You know, he's a father figure to many of us, and he's been instrumental in my participation in the show. In fact, he creates many of the special things that I get to do on the show. Like this season, they allowed me to play some music on the show and uh, wrote in a scene so I could pick my guitar and things, and just a lot of different things. He, he gives each character a little special, special side, and he's allowed me to do a lot of neat things on the show. Well, let's talk a little bit about your music. I understand that at the age of 15, you had your first folk album? Yes, yeah. I have started uh, with a group. When I was 13 years old, we started touring. I had a group, and I was the oldest member, and we played uh, styles of folk and traditional country and bluegrass, and we traveled around doing the fairs and the festivals and just had a, had a lot of fun growing up. And that group stayed together until we all went off our separate ways at college, and then that's when I really started investing my time back into acting and also continuing the musical interest because since then I've been lucky enough to get um, a lot of recorded material on the radio and um, had some top 20 uh, albums and songs, so we've, uh, we've been very blessed.